New at six, it was once a vibrant shopping and destination, a dining destination for locals. Regency Square Mall and its 160 stores drew in a lot of the Jacksonville community years ago. But now, decades later, much of the building sits empty. First Coast News showed you these photos last week from a now viral Facebook post. You can see the current conditions inside the mall as well. On your sides, Taylor Levesque joins us live looking into why some community members say something needs to be done to fix it. Taylor. Yeah, much of Regency Square Mall looks like this vacant and boarded up businesses in empty parking lots. As we drove around the mall today, there were only pockets of cars around the parking lot, mainly near the main entrance and Dillard's. But in other areas where other larger businesses stood, it's empty and mall goers say the inside isn't much different. It's not a pleasant place to be anymore. Empty stores, mold and leaks, plague Regency Square Mall. Clearly the mall has fallen into disrepair. Jacksonville resident Andrew Mayorga says he remembers hanging out here as a teenager, but after a recent visit, he says it's not what it used to be. There was an arcade. We used to spend a lot of time there. There was an octagon we'd hang out in the back. There was even putt-putt golf. Just a lot of memories here. The movie theater, oh God, the Hot Topic, an old toy store used to be here. Council member Joyce Morgan says only a fraction of the stores that used to be there are still in business and she doesn't expect them to stay much longer. I know that there are many tenants who are looking as soon as their lease is over, they're getting out be because of things that they complain about. And even the church had complained sometimes about uh, a leaking roof and things like that. Sometimes you will see garbage cans, um, in the mall collecting the water. Morgan says because the mall is privately owned, there isn't really anything the city can do to bring it back to life. We're hoping and we're wishing and we're praying that the owners would see the viability and what it could be and work toward bringing it back. The good thing that happened is that Impact Church went into the Belk building. So that's an amazing a great thing to happen to Regency, but now we need the rest of the mall, something to be done with it. Council member Morgan also says there have been many ideas for this mall come and go. The company who manages the mall actually just got back to us and says that it has been confirmed that the property is not under contract for sale, but the company did not comment on renovations. In Regency, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News, on your side.